Hello. Over there you can see where I usually go up to the cemetery. There's a nearby church, a Catholic church. It's a big thing. Several buildings here. I just wanted to get out and take a walk. I haven't been around here for a while. And now that I'm retired, I have all the time in the world. This is quite a building. Now, I'm Methodist myself, and I have some pretty strong views on uh, the weird idiosyncrasies of Catholicism. But we are told that they are essentially Christian. So it's three structures. That one, the church, and that one. And there's a school in the back. And then there's the other one down the street there. And of course this Polish Community Center. Which I don't know that it's attached to the uh, church. But that is suggestive. Yeah, so I just wanted to get up here and, and take a walk. I won't be going very far. And I hope you go along with me. There's a nice stream over this way. I know it comes down off the, between the hills. Off of what's called Airplane Drive. And it uh, empties into the Susquehanna, which is a mile or two to our left. That's quite an impressive building. I don't see any signage. So I've never been able to find out what it is. I think it's probably derelict. Or at the very least closed to the public. As you can see at the corner there, there is a stone missing. I think that might have been the sign. So there's another stone next to it. Some other stones there, which if we got closer we might see some writing on. I'm not going to cross the street. And the reason I retired at 65 is not just because I'm 65, but also because I'm arthritic. I'm in constant pain from, from my back, as well as my joints. I have high blood pressure. I have migraines, which make me blind for 20 minutes at a time. And not blackness blind, but just things are, I can't be focused on. It's like I'm looking at them underwater. There's a, a host of little problems like that, which taken together, especially considering that I have some savings, which I can live on until my social security kicks in. Well, it, it made retirement a worthwhile pursuit. Prospect Terrace. Interesting foliage. It's 
so it's September 6th. And, uh, since the end of August, we've not had any serious heat. And it's been raining every day, which discouraged me from taking a walk up the hill, as I like to do. Go through the cemetery, down a path, and arrive at the uh, watershed. It's about 17 over there. need to be a full cycle before it'll give it to me. Yeah. Okay, down there is the uh, carousel. Uh, wooden horses that go around, you know. And behind that there's a church. It's a pretty town, that's why I came here. I'm originally from the coal regions. Tamaqua, Northeastern Pennsylvania, School Schoolkill County. Here we go, the lights changing. Okay, this building used to be the uh, local printing press. Uh, it, it printed out the newspaper. The newspaper is still published. But I don't know where it's published. Uh, back in April, it was used for the... Uh, Oh, for the vaccine, the hand out the vaccine. That's where I got my two shots. Tents in the back of it. it had something to do with the National Guard. There were local nurses there. Uh, it's partly commercial. And now this building that used to be the printing press is uh, part of a university. Okay, he's going pretty fast. I think I'll be able to get across. I meant he was going pretty slow. <laughs> well, everybody's fast compared to me. Back in high school, they called me Speedy. I was so slow. Walmart. Dog dirt on the pavement, gotta watch my footing. 
Okay, so there's the carousel through the trees. We'll be walking by there. And when we come to the next block, we'll turn up that way. And I'm thinking that might be as far as I go. light because the next one is a dead end so this one I guess don't cross the creek which is what I'm taking you to I don't feel like walking all the way to the mall I used to do that oh there's the carousel I used to do that, but I just don't have the energy for it anymore. That building at the corner, red bottom, white top, green roof, uh, used to be Oh, no, it, it is uh, a nice place to eat, from what I hear from the locals. A pretty lady with her daughter. Looks like doors are open, but I'm not going to enter. I'm sure I'm not allowed. Certainly, I'm not allowed to film in there. Oh yes, it's it's spinning. And here's the creek. Firm grip on the camera. And we can look down into it. Took my glasses off so I could aim it. I don't see anything in it. I haven't actually looked downstream from here yet. That was lovely. Not very much trash in it. I have seen
I have seen some Oh <laughs> Steep step I didn't know there was a step there There's a He seems to be in the turning lane I was going straight. Cattle Inn. Saturday steak. <laughs> Never been in there, but I had a, f a friend, a local, recommend it to me. That lady has passed now. I used to work with her. That was like a decade ago. Same job as I just left. I was with them for uh, 14 years as of February of this year. So 14 years, eight months, some days. Oh no, six months and some days. Across here, as you see, this goes nowhere. Interrupted by the highway. seeing the kids make reminds me of my own two little ones they're in their 30s now the one got married moved to Texas and uh, the older one She's in Harrisburg. The younger one became a dental assistant. And the older one uh, made websites, I think. Since they blame me for their mother's behavior, they have not been in touch with me. I, I don't know how, if they are in touch with even their mother. I know one of them is having difficulties. Back in high school, she was put into foster care. Yes, they put it in foster care rather than giving giving her to her father. The younger one was the compliant one. But since she moved to Texas, what contact do they have her with her? 
and their mother, my ex, remains in York. Last I heard, she was living in downtown York in a small house or apartment. I, it's, I have the address, I've not looked it up. Many things can be learned from the internet, but really, <laughs> if you've had legal problems with your ex, you should not pursue the knowledge you find. It could be dangerous. So I took the high road getting to here, I'll take the low road back. I would like to uh, get up to the top of the hill, but it's too wet. Really poured down earlier today. Rained all morning. But tomorrow should be clear. Tomorrow I have some business downtown. And I'll rest for the wicked. get the idea of this uh, striped area. Clearly it's a turn off. Couldn't you just turn off onto the next street? And there's hardly room for a single car in there. Much less a tractor trailer. And then there's the gas station in the next block. Makes little sense. And yeah, well, going a few more feet, you got a gas station. Where if you're having car trouble, the thing to do is to go into the gas station. <laughs> At least if you don't have a cell, they could call you help. <laughs> okay. Here we are on Union. Well, we came out on Prospect. Tempted to stop and get a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> 